All right, so before this all ends badly, um, I really like to talk about suicide. And not just about suicide, but I want to give you an insight onto what the mindset is like before suicide. Now, I can't promise you that this is the same mindset that everyone carries when they go into a situation like that. I can only tell you from my personal experience um, what my mindset was like. Um, so, it, if you if you've ever attempted suicide, maybe maybe this will help you uh, realize that you're not alone. Um, if you know somebody who has committed suicide or attempted suicide, maybe I can help give you a little more clarity into what that decision is like. Um, and if you have no idea, you know, if you've always just thought it was just some selfish thing that you just do on, on, a, on a whim, uh, maybe this will clarify some things for you. Um, I'm going to preface this by, uh, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, I'm going to start, when I was young, I started I started cutting, cutting my arms, legs, chest, you know, cutting, um, and uh, it, it escalated, I had a low point in my life, um, where the cutting was, I mean, it became carving words, carving things into my my hands uh, to the point where um, when I started uh, taking razor blades and slicing into my face that I had to go uh, check myself into a mental health facility. I had to check myself in because uh, what I thought was supposed to help, which was the cutting, you know, it's, it's they say it releases endorphins, so it takes the emotional pain and puts it towards the physical pain, which dealing with physical pain is oftentimes much, uh, much easier, uh, allegedly. Very much allegedly, because it is, it is not. It doesn't. It, it doesn't help. All it does is give you permanent reminders of a, of a time that you wish you could forget. Uh, my my recommendation is not to not to cut. Um, so I check myself in. I spend a week in a in a, in a mental health facility. Um, when I uh, when I come out, you know. You, they, they monitor you pretty close. They, uh, but then, you know, it all just kind of goes back to old hat and you just, you know, you, you just get back, you fall back into your old routines. Um, fast forward a couple of years. A couple of years later, uh, around 2001, um, the depression hits hard, 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 hard. Uh, the medication they put me on was the wrong combination of medicines for me. Um, I went from being depressed to being psychotic. <sighs> and I can remember it like it was yesterday. This was almost 20 years ago. But I can remember going through, I kept a journal um, if I can find my journal, um, if there are any more videos to be made, um, maybe I'll sit down and read through some of that, what it was like for a 21 year old kid to be, um, so depressed that, uh, I would, I, and I, I classify my days as good and bad. And when I say uh, a good day, uh, I'm going to tell you what a good day looks like. A good day for me would be a day where I didn't break down. Um, I didn't lash out in anger. Uh, there was no tears. I could leave the house. Uh, I didn't get anxious when I was around people. I was able to communicate. Um, those are good days. 
which for most people, those are what you call days. Um, so uh, a bad day is the opposite. A bad day is a day where you, you have, you know, you break down mentally. Uh, you know, you, you feel terrible. You, you feel like you look terrible. You feel like everything you do is wrong. Uh, you know, there's anger. Uh, you know, when I was young, uh, my, my, uh, you know, there was no tears. It was just anger. Just this fit of rage inside of me. Um, now that I'm older, it's more on an emotional level, uh, more of an adult emotional level, you know, where you just kind of break down. Um, my, my bad days, you know, would be laying in bed all day, not doing anything, um, not eating. Uh, I remember going through at this time back in 2001, my, my, my bad days lasted. I want to say I went 45 days straight without a good day. Um, that's, that's 45 days of thinking about suicide. 45 days of feeling less than human. That's 45 straight days wanting to die. That's what a bad day looks like. And when when I when I say wanting to die, it, it's it's a it's a very generalized situation. You don't want to die. You just don't want to be in pain anymore. You don't want to live uh, the way you're living. You don't want to feel the way you feel. And you can't, like, it, it's like being in a hole that you just can't climb out of. You know, you try and you try and you try and you just can't climb out of. Um, if anybody tries to throw you a rope, it breaks. You know, you just, you just can't get out. And then you, you start to isolate yourself and alienate people. You feel like a burden. You feel like nobody, even even though people care, you know, you push them away um, because you don't want to be a burden. You don't want to be a problem. You, you set your mind to that this is what I am and then you just, you just go with that. No matter what anybody tells you, it's wrong. It doesn't matter. They don't care. They're just saying that because that's what people do. Um, nobody wants you here. You know, nobody's even gonna come to your funeral. Uh, you're, you're a waste of space. You, you know, nobody could ever love you. You're ugly, you're fad, you're stupid. Uh, you know, uh, anything that, that, that has ever been a problem for you, any any self-image, self-esteem, any, any problems you've ever had, that becomes the focal point. Um, you know, any insecurities they get magnified times 10. You know, you don't want to be seen. You don't want to, you don't want to be talked to. You think everything you say is stupid. Um, and the longer these days go on, the more you start to believe it because you can't get out. Um, and for me, leading up to the day, um, it was just... Constant, just it was just this constant feeling of dread. You know, I hated the day. I, I didn't want to get up. I didn't want to go to work. You know, and then um, at the time, I was uh, I worked on a two-man crew, so there was two of us. Um, I was young, so I had acted out a lot. I had made some enemies. Some people didn't like me. Um, I didn't really know how to to take the depression, you know, the the, the the mania, the highs and the lows, and I would take things too far, and I, I you know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't find a common ground. Uh, also, at this time, you know, I'm 21. I'm young. I'm young, and yes, I'm gonna say it. Um, I just got out of a relationship. Generally, that's my biggest problem. The codependency issues that I have are 
unbelievably consistent. Let me put it that way. They are consistent. Um, I tend to find my self worth in the in the view of others. I, I don't know how to I don't know how to get past that. This is a battle that I've been fighting for my entire life. Um, how other people see me tends to be the way that I see myself, and I can't I can't shake that. Um, when someone doesn't. When someone that I care about doesn't, you know, gets tired of my bullshit, I don't know how to, I don't know how to overcome those odds. Um, because, you know, you, I, and I don't know, and, I, and if, if somebody knows how to beat this and they can, they can tell me how to do this, um, you know, you psh, reach out, I'll fly to you. We'll sit down, we'll have a conversation, uh, we'll write a book. We'll make it happen. You you tell me how this works, you tell me how to battle this, you show me how we will we will sit down together and I will pin you out a fucking book. Because, you know, it, this is what's gonna kill me. Um but back to topic. Uh that's that's where you know that's like I said the insecurities come out the the self esteem issues come out everything comes out and you 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 wonder why nobody could ever love you and nobody wants to stay with you um, no matter what you do no matter how hard you try no matter how little you know it doesn't matter in your mind it's a mess um, so leading up to the day that I actually attempted the suicide I. Uh, I had written for days, planning it out, talking about ways to do it. Like I say, completely psychotic. Um, I took my medication to work with me. I knew I was gonna be riding shotgun. And so for the entirety of the day, well, the end of the day, after the work was done on our, on our drive back home, I would take a handful of pills. Uh, Wellbutrin and Depakote. I would just take a handful. Handful. Um, I didn't have a vehicle. See, and this is this is part of it. Um, I didn't want to die. I just wanted it to stop. Like I, I just wanted it to, to end. Um, my vehicle was in the shop, so my my dad was having to come pick me up from work. Uh, and we got in the car. He could tell something was wrong because I was giddy. I was off. Um, things were, you know, they weren't, they weren't, they weren't catching on all cylinders. He could tell, he asked what was going on, I told him, you know, I took all the medicine. He asked me if I needed to go to the hospital. I don't know. I don't really care. Um, we ended up going to the hospital. Um, had I gone home and gone to sleep like I had planned, I would be dead. Plain and simple, the, uh, the medications that I took in uh, large, large amounts, um, one medication attacks your liver, one medication attacks your kidneys. Um, had I gone home, and gone to sleep, I wouldn't have woken up the next day. You know, hindsight being 2020, who knows? You know, really, who knows? Um, there are days that I wish I had, I had gone home, there, there are days. You know, I still have bad days. Um, there are days that I'm thankful that I didn't, that I got to do a lot of the things I did. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. You know, uh, someday I'm going to die. I know that. Everybody's going to die. So, I don't know. 
was it my time? Um, did I did I do the right thing? I, I honestly don't know. You know, I really don't know. Uh, but I can tell you this: overdosing. Uh, for anyone who has had this problem, um, having to drink the charcoal is a terrible thing. That is the nastiest stuff ever. Okay, and it and it it is charcoal, and they force it down your. They they make you drink it. If you don't drink it, they will uh, they will stuck a tube up your nose. And they will force it down your stomach. Um, I drank it. Uh, full disclosure, I shit myself about five times because it was just oozing out. Yeah, yeah, you just you just shit yourself and it's runny black charcoal. And then they collect it and they test it and make sure that you don't have the med the, the medications. I had to the first time I drank the charcoal, I had taken so much medication that I I didn't care. I I mean I could have I probably could have flown off the building. I was so high. Um, the next morning they came in and I had to drink it five times the next day, stone cold sober. And, the, and they told me from the start, you drink it all, you have this much time to drink it. If you can't drink it, we'll, sh we'll hold you down. We'll shove a tube up your nose and we'll force it into your stomach. Yeah. Um, I, I recommend that if you, if you feel like taking those pills... Um, if you feel like that's what you're going to do, um, I recommend you go and talk to somebody. Um, maybe get a glass of that charcoal that they give you. Drink that shit. It'll change your mind. Um, but leading up to that day, I knew I was going to do it. It was all planned out. It just, I didn't want it to end. I just wanted the pain to stop. And that's what a lot of people don't understand is, um, even right now, people will never understand. I have a good life. I've got kids. I've got a home. I've got a job. There's still days where it just becomes overwhelming. And... It's not about what you have. I know there are people that would love to have what I have. I know that. But I also know that those people, those same people would hate to spend any kind of time in my head. Because it's, it's not a fun place to be. You know, when the jokes are good, you know, when, the, when, it's, hitting on, when it's hitting on all cylinders, so to say, and... And there's a lot of things to, to do, uh, to talk about, and the jokes, and the, yeah, my head's my head's a lot of fun, man. But it's it's in those dark times, those dark times where you can't shake it, where you can't see the blessings, where you can't enjoy life. Um, I can honestly say this: I have spent more of my life not enjoying it than I have enjoying it. I've spent more of my life in utter misery, um, alone, isolated, alienating people. I've spent more of my time. I mean, I go on vacations alone, full-fledged vacations. I'll take off for a week by myself because I can't get anybody that wants to go. You know, because I'm not, I, I can't make a relationship work to find anybody that wants to stay because of my depression because of how I feel. So, what I'm saying, I guess, is I hope that this helps somebody, that, that, that somebody can, I mean, I hate that people can relate. I hope that if you can relate, it's, it's, it's gotten better for you. Um, I hope that if suicide has affected your life, Maybe you get a little understanding. Um, and if you can't, then reach out to me. Um, my Instagram's at the bottom. Um, just message me there. 
we can go from there. I don't want to give out my personal email because I don't want any hate. Um, I, I damn sure ain't putting my phone number on YouTube um, or my emails. You know, my I, I don't want any of that stuff on there. But find me on Instagram, message me. Let's talk it out. Let's have a conversation. Um, if I can help you, maybe you can help me. Maybe you got some answers that I don't have. You know. Um, I just, I, I hope that it, it does some good. Um, I hope that it helps somebody. I hope that, that, you know, I hope that nobody else has to go through this. I know it's gonna happen. People are gonna kill themselves. Um, depression is a real thing. Uh, mental illness is, is becoming more and more prevalent. Um, so, as always, uh, is there anything I can do to help you? Reach out, let me help you. Uh, if you've got some answers for me, reach out, help me. Thanks for watching.